It is now against the law to live in a vehicle in most of the city of San Diego, and that's causing big worries for people with nowhere else to go. Our tennis reporter Rena Nakano is live with the chilling effects that some homeless advocates say this will have on them. Rena. That's right. I spoke to a man who says living out of his car has given him a safe home, a home he hopes to provide to other homeless veterans. All right, so this is uh, basically my house. There's no rent nor mortgage, but this is Jason Thorwegan's home, the only home he's ever known. I started being homeless at about the age of eight years old. It hasn't been easy and he admits he's not perfect, but he never thought he'd be in trouble for staying out of trouble inside his van. You don't want me in your bushes, you want me in the van. Tuesday night, San Diego City Council approved the updated vehicle habitation ordinance after residents complained about health and safety. Defecating and urinating on the street. Starting Wednesday, living in a vehicle is illegal on city streets between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. unless parked in a designated safe parking zone. Even though as much as they try to say it wasn't around criminalization, um, I don't see how it is not. Teresa Smith runs a nonprofit that provides 60 spaces. The city has 120. Even with the city's plan to make new parking lots, Thorwegan says it won't change his lifestyle. I have uh, anxieties that prevent me from living inside. PTSD and other illnesses, he says. That's why he started Van for a Plan. My lovely bed. <laughs> get people to donate vans and then convert them to give to clean homeless veterans. We want them to do the work and then that way they can earn their earn their vans. He's working on his second van now, but now with this new ordinance, he's worried his efforts will become moot. What didn't help was when people made it illegal for me to be, you know, illegal for me to be. And the city says they will have to train their officers on this new ordinance before they can start issuing those tickets. But some are saying that once that happens, people are going to live the same exact way just outside city limits. Reporting live, I'm Rita Nakano, 10 News.